Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining term in logic. So what is a term? A term is basically an expression of an idea. When you say expression, it is when an idea, which is by nature abstract, metaphysical, universal, and mental, is expressed in concrete. So when we say concrete, we are referring to words or images and, and symbols, whether words are written or are spoken orally. In our previous episode, we have explained what an idea is. We said that an idea is the essence of an individual thing or person known by the human intellect or reason. So the moment an idea is expressed, we call it term. And term by nature has properties. When you say a property of a term, it is something that necessarily belongs to a term, meaning it naturally flows from a term or is essentially part of the term. And these are comprehension and extension. Again, these are the properties of a term, comprehension and extension. So what is comprehension? Basically, comprehension is the meaning of a term. So all terms, all ideas have meanings. In other words, the meaning is the whatness or the essence that they represent. So what an essence is, is the whatness of a thing. What a thing is. For example, the table. The table is an article of furniture with a flat surface on top and with a stand and it's where we place food or things on top of it. Or a table is an article of furniture or a chair, for example. So the essence is basically a meaning of the term or we call it comprehension. And what about the extension of the term? The extension of the term refers to all the things to which the term can be applied. In other words, these are things or people to whom or that which we can name using the term. Example, if you have the term dog, so all types of dog which you can name dog or things that you can call dog are the extension of the term. So what are the extension of the term dog? So a chihuahua is a dog, a golden retriever is a dog, a husky is a dog, even the, the ordinary dog in your native land is a dog. So all the things and individuals to which a term can be applied is called the extension of the term. And what is the relationship between extension and comprehension? They are inversely proportional, meaning the greater the comprehension, the lesser the extension, and vice versa. In other words, if the term becomes more generic, the less specific it becomes. Or the more specific the term is, the less general it becomes. So that's basically the relationship between the two properties of the term comprehension and extension. Thank you for watching and listening. Please click like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.